What's up, peeps? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if I'm going to do too many react style stuff like this, but if you like it, make sure to leave a comment and a like down below. Recently came across something I saw that was so out of this world, so absurd, I had to actually react to it. A potential gaming monitor in the making that allows AI to help you out and cheat in video games. Now, uh, I want to give this a proper react. This is actually a video by Tech Source. Make sure to go check out the whole thing. He does a lot of product and tech reviews and does a great job going to these events and showcasing these products. This one in particular from MSI is so absurd and so crazy that I just I have to show you. Hope you enjoy. On the microphone for content creation, then check the link down below. MSI's Meg 32 inch QD OLED monitor is quite possibly the most interesting monitor I have seen in all of CES. Aside from the high-end specs like 4K resolution, 240Hz refresh rate, and the 0.03 millisecond response time, it has a fascinating AI feature. They are calling it AI Skylight, and it might just be borderline cheating. So this will detect an enemy's position in the game, and it will mark it right on the screen, making it very easy for you to spot. Now I know what you're thinking, this is basically wall hacks, but not quite. In order for the AI to mark the enemy's location on the screen, it would have to first detect it in the minimap. So technically, it's not cheating. Technically, it's not cheating, but technically, it's also an AI. Let's just pretend it's a robot watching your in game minimap, and if it sees anything, it can then detect it on your screen for you. So it's pretty much like having someone sit to your right while playing League of Legends or other games, we'll get to that, and they're only watching your minimap. You get to watch the full game, except it's not like your best friend. It's a robot then pinging you in live time faster than anything else probably could of like, oh, hey, they're here, they're here, they're here. You know, typically one of the skill gaps for the games like this and other games too is the ability to watch your minimap and also play the, the game on the main screen, right? So albeit it's not technically cheating, I think it is. Like this sounds ridiculously overpowered, especially if used League of Legends, eh, right? If I'm, if I'm sitting down playing Smite, am I going to use this? No, all right? But Call of Duty? But this will add such an advantage to gamers because it eliminates the need to look at the minimap altogether. This is only a demo for League of Legends, but imagine this working on Call of Duty, right? Your team pops at UAV, revealing the location of your enemies, but you're too focused in the game to look at the map. Then all of a sudden, you see the enemy's location on your screen behind a wall and you can start pre-firing. I think this can definitely be a game changer if this is available for FPS games. Yeah, no crap it'd be a freaking game changer. It's cheating. Any form of cheats or hacks is gonna be a goddamn game changer. Can you imagine this? In FPS games, that would be absurd. Also, I, again, I said it before, but part of the skill gap is being able to focus on your own gameplay and the hecticness that's going on in the minimap. That's cheating. I, I don't care how you guys put it. You guys, of course, can try and argue the other side of this. But that is cheating. Like, yes, I saw some sort of counter argument like this is user information, right? It is technically available to the user if they are to look at it. But there's a lot of people out there that don't see all of those things pop up as fast as an AI would. It's like having a second hand or a second person there to help you along the way and detect it faster than you ever even could if it's if it's done right. This is just like a prototype not even out yet. Who knows how good it could get at detection? So where do you guys stand on this? Another cool feature is the spectrum bar with mystic light and glow sync. This will essentially mimic your health bar in games and update in real time to give you a visual of how much HP is left on the actual monitor light bar. I'm not exactly sure how functional this really is, but it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the MEG monitor isn't exactly available for purchase as of yet, Good. since it's merely a concept. However, its identical twin, the MPG321URX, will be available this February. It's basically the same monitor, but without the AI Skylight technology. Okay, so it's the identical twin without the identical AI cheats installed. Uh, shout out MSI. At the very least, at least what he said previously, it's a concept, right? It's not a product that's on the market right now to buy, because I know a few of you guys will be buying it right now. I've seen some of the joke replies out there. But the real general question of reacting to this was, is this AI skylight, you know, detecting things on your map for you and then pinging you or notifying you in game about what it detects on your mini map in live time, do you consider that to be cheating? Like, should this even be on the market to begin with? My face value response would be no, like this should not be a thing 
at all. And I don't think I'm going to be in, in the bare bones uh, minimum here, but I, I'm curious what you guys think. It just, it's wild to me because when I play video games, it's, it's one of the difficulties of playing these FPS or these fast paced shooters is keeping an eye on everything in your mini map and also your own gameplay. That's part of the fun. That's part of the challenge. And that's a big separator to have that map awareness and map knowledge. If all of a sudden, if everyone has a certain type of monitor, has that knowledge is getting pinged all the time where the enemies are, it's essentially wall hacks or map hacks. What, what, like, I don't even know what to call this. It's AI. It's Skylight. So I, I don't know. I, I saw this. I thought it was so absurd. And I want your thoughts on this. And uh, if you guys like the React style content in, in this kind of setup, leave a like down below or maybe a comment or send us some other material to react to. And maybe we'll make it a part of a new segment. Till next time, take care of yourselves. Have a great, safe weekend, everybody. All right. See you back here soon.